Hi, I'm Martin, and welcome to Groundhog Graphics. In this video, I will show you how to install CodeBlocks IDE in Windows 10. This will be the IDE that I will be using later on in my tutorial series, Programming in C. Let's begin. Start by going to your web browser and search for CodeBlocks. Optionally, you may click the link in the description. Once you've found www.codeblocks.org, select it. Now select Downloads. Now select Download the Binary Release. I am using Windows 10, but as you can see, CodeBlocks is also available for Linux and Mac. Select the operating system you will be developing on. I will be choosing CodeBlocks 20.03 MinGW setup.exe. This download will include both the editor and compiler. Choose one of the two mirrors to download from. Also, if you scroll down, you will see Linux distributions right here, which you may download. And at the bottom, we also have a Macintosh distribution, which you may download. So now I will click the version for Windows 10. It's downloading. Once it's down, it's it save file wait for the download to complete now select the downloaded file to run the code blocks installer select next select agree Here you have multiple options that you may choose from to customize the installation. Since I will be doing a full installation, I will just select Next to continue. The default directory is fine by me. I will select Install to continue. Okay, code blocks is installed, and now we're going to go ahead and run. It says code blocks is currently not my default application for C files. I will go ahead and yes, let's make it my default. And with every supported type, including project files from other IDs. No. Okay. So I'll go yes, associate code blocks with C, C file types. That way, <clears throat> if I click a file that is a C file, source file, in Windows, it will automatically open up code blocks. So short book. There appears to be a keyboard shortcut conflict between code blocks and another application. If it becomes a problem for me later, I will address it, but I'm just going to click OK for now. We have an error message here that just popped up. Code blocks can't find the compiler. That's OK. I'll show you how to fix it in just a moment. Now, let's continue by selecting Create New Project. Now from the projects list, we will select console application. Now select next. Select C for C program, C source file. Uh, pro project title, I'm going to name it test. And select finish. And we see that we have our pop-up error messages again. As I said, we'll fix that in just a moment. Let's open our source file, double-click. 
um, has an include file here I'm going to delete which is not necessary for this program and let's attempt to run it go to mm -hmm. and you see we have an error down here that's because code blocks can't find our compiler so let's go up here to settings compiler toolchain executable and let's auto detect the location of the compiler now code blocks has located it okay hit okay again and let's try to run it again and see what happens. Click yes, we want to build the project. And there it is, success. Project uh, is built and ran fine. I hope this has helped some of you to install CodeBlocks IDE on your computer and get it up and running. If you are learning C or desire to, I urge you to subscribe. I will soon be creating a complete C course on this channel. Thank you for watching.